Hello and welcome back to the Omni Football Zone and to a midweek preview. But before that, um, getting into the Super Cup final uh, review and Jared Sevilla, who took the lead in the 25th minute through um, Onyaziri, before Cole Palmer in the 63rd minute equalised for City, and that led us towards penalties. Um, and yeah, uh, it was perfect uh, for the first nine, but then um, Sevilla missed their final penalty, giving the win for Man City. And yeah, even though they were training for a lot of this game, I would say it's deserved. They dominated the game and eventually got their award um, winning and another trophy for Pep Guardiola's men. Um, and yeah, you can see how much it meant to them, but yeah, fully deserved. But moving on into um, the Premier League action this week, we've got Forest hosting Sheffield United at the City Ground on Friday night, not being televised for some reason in the UK. Um, but yeah, this is an intriguing one. Forest obviously fought back well, um, but couldn't get anything at Arsenal. But Sheffield United disappointing at home to Crystal Palace. Maybe again they would have targeted for some points, um, but it wasn't to be. So yeah, I think Forest their first home game of the season. I think they made some decent signings. Sheffield United, like I say, maybe a bit undercooked at the moment. I think they'll be feeling confident again uh, a win here, and I'm going to say Forest will just shade it two one to Forest for me. But moving on then to Wolves as they take on Brighton at Molyneux and Wolves yeah obviously we know a bit of a sticky preseason they've had um, but I think they will be encouraged by that performance that they put in at Old Trafford um, over the weekend um, yeah it's a decent um, a decent performance maybe should have taken the chances um, and definitely should have had a penalty as well but Brighton um, really impressive against Luton obviously you don't know how Luton will stack up but you know still I think it's fair to say it was um, an impressive performance and will give Roberto Deservey's men confidence coming here and I'm going to say they're going to get another one I'm going to say it be 2-0 to Brighton moving on then to Liverpool as they take on Bournemouth at um, Anfield and yeah Liverpool's first game at Anfield a draw away at Stamford Bridge last time out I don't know I'd say that's a pretty solid result for Liverpool um, hard to tell really because um, you don't know how Chelsea going to be this season and all of that um, but yeah quite a close game there but taking on a Bournemouth side who drew with West Ham which you know it was an alright result for them um, but yes um Late manager will change with that, still building towards the new season. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say um, Liverpool will get the win here. I think they will have too much for Bournemouth. I'm going to say 3 0. Moving on then to Fulham as they take on Brentford. Um, at Craven Cottage, bit of a London derby, uh, and yeah, uh, this is another intriguing one. Fulham getting a win at Everton last time out. Brentford, um, yeah, I think they're in good shape heading into the new season as well. Um, even without Ivan Tony on a uh, good little run at the moment. So, yeah, it's kind of a hard one to predict this one. Uh, drawing Spurs last time out Brentford. Um, but I think they will come into this game with confidence. So, I think both teams will. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to say it will be a draw here. I'm going to say 1-1. I don't think there's much to choose between two sides. Moving on then to Tottenham as they take on Manchester United at um, White Hart Lane. And Tottenham coming into this one, um, obviously... Um, yeah, that draw against Brentford. I think there were positive signs against uh, from it. Manchester United um, winning against Bulls, but weren't playing at their best. I don't know. They usually say that's a good sign. But yeah, still, I think that Manchester United side's got a bit to prove still. Um, but yeah, um, coming into this one, I'm going to say it will be a 1-1 um, one, one draw here. I can't choose between two sides. I think, yeah, they're quite evenly matched at the moment. But moving on into Man City as they take on Newcastle at the Etihad. Uh, and yeah, Man City coming into this one. The Super Cup in midweek. Could that be a distraction for them? Um, it could well be because yeah, obviously they put quite a strong side out, put a lot of effort into that. Um, had to go through penalties, etc., etc. Newcastle had a clean week, and off the back of that statement victory over Villa, um, yeah, I think they'll be coming into this one feeling pretty. Um, I don't know, confident you can be against Man City. I don't know, but I still feel like City is so good at the moment. It will be tough to be. I'm going to say two one City, but moving on then to Villa as they take on Everton at um because uh, at Villa Park sorry and yeah Villa um coming into this one they simply have to win this after that 5-1 win against Newcastle show that was just um kind of a fluke one-off um game really um against an Everton side that also had a very disappointing result at home to Fulham uh, on the first game of the season so both teams will kind of be um keen to prove um that was just one off and get back on track but I think Villa at home I think they're the better side in Everton at the moment as well so I'm going to say it will be a win for Villa um but moving on then to West Ham as they uh take on Chelsea at um Upton Park um London Stadium sorry uh it's not 2010 um yeah West Ham coming into this one obviously um yeah I don't know that draw last week, it was a good point. Um, maybe would have won to win as well, but still kind of adjusting his life outside of Rice. Chelsea getting a draw as well. I think I kind of have similar feelings. They'll take it for the first game of the season. Definitely something to build on. It'd be interesting to see how these two teams stack up. I think Chelsea, with the money they spent, they're quite strong at the moment. I'm going to say it'd be a win for Chelsea here. But moving on into Palace as they take on Arsenal at um, Celeste Park. Both teams getting wins last night. Maybe could have been a bit more comfortable for both these teams, but at the end of the day, um, a win is all that matters, isn't it? Um, so yeah, it'd be intrigued to see... Um, 
what happen, uh, what happens here. Um, but yeah, I think Arsenal will come into this one confident. Palace is a tough place to go. Obviously, Palace still without the likes of Elise, who's injured at the moment, even despite him saying. So yeah, I'm going to say it will be a 1-0 win for Arsenal here. I think it'll be close, but I think they'll just shade it. But anyway, guys, that's it for you. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Next, I'll see you for daily football news. And subscribe to my channel. It's going to be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Peace.